Hey, what's up, guys? It is Commissioner with TMQB, week number two, 2011. A couple of housekeeping items. Number one, as I mentioned in the email last night, if you have anything to tell me, only use my Gmail account, intimidatorsoffl at gmail.com. Um, the message boards, I haven't really been checking them. I, that's not really one of the things that I do. I guess I will from now on, but if you have something uh, of importance, uh, like Tony, you gotta email me or call me. Um, I think you guys know right now I don't have a cell phone, so call my house. Or just email me. Email me is probably the best way to get a hold of me. Um, so that leads to scoring. Uh, I sent around that email last night that talked about uh, there was a problem with scoring. It's all been fixed. All the scoring is now correct based on our, our scoring system. Um, <clears throat> and uh, if you go back and look, everything's correct. It recalculated last week. It recalculated week two. So we're all good on our scoring system. And again, it's one point for every 25 yards uh, for rushing and receiving and one point for every 50 yards passing. Uh, no bonus of three points at 100 for the rushing and receiving. No bonus of three points for 300 yards. We abolished that when we did this one point. Um, like I said in the email, I went back and checked the, uh, the hard copies that I have because every week I print them out. Um, and um, so there you go. All right, so week two, interesting week. Um, Preseason draft pick by most, our guru. Um, to be the uh, one of the front runners is sitting at 0-2. Been um, scoring some points, but uh, unfortunately for him, the teams he's playing just seem to be scoring uh, a little more. Um, so with that, let's go to the let's go to the games, and uh, we'll start with the game of the week, which is uh, Storm Brigade and the Guru. Uh, Storm Brigade, your winner, 66-62. Um, another big day for uh, for Drew Brees with 23 points. He's running back, Drew Mc, uh, Darren McFadden got him 16 points. And uh, Arian Foster, that big home run, can't miss running back that Hoagie was touting, uh, has another big day. One point, and he got hurt again. Hasn't practiced all week. Probably won't play this weekend. Uh, A.J. Green, a nice pickup by Storm. That's a great pickup. Um, 10 points. Anquan Bolden got him one. Uh, Jermichael Finley got him two, kicker Vinatieri 13. For Guru, he got 17 out of Michael Vick. I'm sure he would have had more if Vick didn't go out of the game. So 17, one from Felix Jones, six Roddy White. Uh, Vincent Jackson, 18 points for uh, San Diego. That's a big game for Guru. Eight for Greg Jennings. Jimmy Graham got him three as tight end, and Gaskowski got him nine. Um, Stafford on the bench for, uh, for Guru, who... I'm guessing he's going to play this week since Vic's status is uncertain. Got him, would have been 29 points. That would have pushed him over the top. Um, Stafford looks like a real gem in this league. Uh, this was going to be the game of the week, but I figured um, <clears throat> since Guru was the preseason pick by most, I would go with that one. But this was a close second. TNT, Hoagies Heroes. TNT is your winner by a point, 41-40. Hoagie made a nice comeback from a league low 23 points last week to put up 40. Just wasn't enough. One point, one point shy. Uh, TNT getting nothing out of his quarterback for a second week in a row. This kid's in trouble if he doesn't get uh, <clears throat> if he doesn't get a quarterback. So four points for McNabb, three for Ahmad Bradshaw, 15 big day. Shady McCoy, Deion Branch got him five. Uh, wide receiver Gaffney two. Tight end Clark with seven. Sebastian Janikowski five. Um, and uh, Clark is no longer on the TNT roster, made a trade with his pops, and uh, I believe he got uh, Tony Gonzalez back, and uh, it's in the email, the trade, and again, it'll be in the transaction email later today. For Hoagie, 11 points from Roethlisberger, uh, Brandon Jacobs got him 8, Chris Johnson 2, James Starks 4, Devery Henderson, <laughs> Devery Henderson, a waiver wire pickup. For Hoagie, uh, got him 10 points. That's a guy that's burned me, and uh, I should say burned the Intimidators in the past. Um, the guy is uh, hot and cold, but for Hoagie's sake, let's hope he stays hot. Matt Bryant got him five. Uh, next game, why not us Intimidators? Your winner there is why not us 67 to 48. Um, a, the snooker quarterback draft, uh, and when the Intimidators took Manning and passed up Romo. And one of us 
was in the Intimidator's ear telling him how uh, it wouldn't matter if you picked Eli Manning. But it didn't matter in this game because Eli got 16 and Tony got an 18, so that wasn't the deciding factor. Adrian Peterson was the deciding factor. 16 big points. Mike Wallace, another deciding factor. 11 points for TN for uh, Why Not Us. 7 Frank Gore, 2 Mario Manningham. Uh, Connor Barthes kicker got him 6. It looks like um, Tony Romo might play this week. I don't know, but in case he doesn't, he's got Kyle Orton on the bench. Put up 15 last week, so he should be okay. Intimidators, like I mentioned, 16 from Eli Manning. Um, I know the Intimidators are not happy with their quarterback situation. Maurice Jones drew three points. Chris Wells, nine. Wes Welker, three. Hakeem Nix, six. And Neil Rackers' his kicker got him 11. Poor pick and Steel Curtain. Steel Curtain, your victor, 78 to 59. Um, a huge game for Matty Ryan wasn't enough. 27 points for Poor Pickens. Um, for Matty Ryan, but on the plus side for Steel Curtain in the victory, uh, Aaron Rodgers got him 18, Miles Austin 23 points, um, Larry Fitzgerald 11, uh, LeGarrette Let's Smoke a Blanc 14, Johnny Knox 1, Winslow tight end got him 1, and his kicker Josh Brown got him 10. Um, those 23 points for Miles Austin are what did the trick for, uh, for Steel Curtain. Poor Pickens, like I mentioned, Matty Ryan got him 27 points. Uh, and Michael Turner, his 1-2 Atlanta punch, got him 11. Uh, Rashid Mendenhall, 8. Nothing out of Plaxico Burris. <clears throat> Dwayne Bowe got him 4. Jason Witten, 4. And uh, Novak, 3. And a New York's defense, 2. Next game. If I can turn the page. Uh, Cruisers losing 81-57 uh, to, to Silent Death. Big game for Silent Death, 81 points. Most points this week. Matty Schaub, 16. Joseph Adai, 3. Peyton Hillis, back on track, 15 big points. Andre Johnson, 9. Kenny Britt, 11. Rob Gronkowski, huge day, 15 points out of your tight end position, but we all know he's really a wide receiver. John Casey, 12. For Cruisers, he got 19 from Phillip Rivers, 7 from Darren Sproles, 9 from Ray Rice. Sean Green got him 7. Nate Burles, and 3. And Macy Crosby, 12. Funny thing, when I was looking back at the paperwork um, for the scoring, uh, situation. I noticed that uh, Intimidators picked up Ray Rice uh, two years ago uh, off the waiver wire in week uh, week 11 or 12, I think it was. Just, it's funny how some of these guys, uh, a few years from uh, being bottom feeders, are, are number one picks and keepers. <clears throat> Last game of the week, Cleveland Steamers 2-0. Uh, beat Panzers 68-45. Uh, for Steamers, another big day from Tom Brady, and just uh, another quick aside, um, Tom Brady was the backup for the Intimidators a couple years ago to, uh, to Peyton Manning, so again, it's just funny how things work out. Uh, Tom Brady was a backup on uh, a fantasy football team, but uh, got him 26 points for Cleveland Steamers, 5 from Forte, Timmy Hightower got him 3, Calvin Johnson, big day, 13 points, uh, 8 for Aaron Hernandez. Um, kicker Alex Henry got him 7 and Steelers D got him 6. For Panzers, Sammy Bradford got him 12. Jah um, best Detroit's running back got him uh, 16. One from uh, Jamal Charles who is now out for the year. Panzers season um, in a little bit of trouble and uh, he's going to scramble and try and find somebody to, to uh, pick up the slack for Charles. That's a huge loss. Reggie Wayne got him only two. Big day for his kicker, Rob Ronas, 14. But again, it wasn't enough. 68-45, Cleveland, Cleveland Steamers, your winner. And uh, that's week two in the OFFL. Uh, <clears throat> some quick uh, some quick numbers. Uh, again, these are all adjusted. Scoring is fixed, so total points are correct. Your top five fantasy teams for the week. Points, Silent Death, Steel Curtain, Cleveland Steamers, Wine and Us, and Storm Brigade. The range of points, Storm Brigade with a low of 66 and Silent Death uh, high of 81. A low, I mean, for those top five teams. Um, top five starters, Matty Ryan, Tom Brady, uh, Drew Brees, uh, Miles Austin and Phil Rivers. Uh, four to five quarterbacks. Uh, Miles Austin, still current wide receiver, the only one that uh, is not a quarterback. On the bench, Guru left Stafford who scored uh, 29 points. That's your, uh, your top one there. Um, <clears throat> top five running back Storm Brigades, Darren McFadden had 16. Uh, Freddie Jackson's for Panzer had Panzers had 16.
top five wide receivers. Miles Austin for Steel Curtain, 23. Vincent Jackson, 18 for Guru. Um, tight ends, Gronkowski for Silent Death with 15. And um, that'll do it for this week. Again, um, I know I didn't hear from all of you on the uh, on the um, <clears throat> scoring mishap, but no worries, it's been fixed. No, no, uh, no game results were changed, so um, the records are correct for everyone. It was just uh, some points that changed. Uh, so there you go. All right, we'll see you uh, next week. Peace.